Okay, hello everybody. We're here to mark the Indigenous Day of Resistance. <laughs> Indigenous people and people of the Global South have been grieving, but we've also been resisting for over 500 years. <laughs> we are here as Indigenous people. We are here as the descendants of slaves. We are here as subsistent farmers, small farmers, urban and rural. We are here as asylum seekers and immigrants who bring the movement to this country and to Western countries and strengthen the movement everywhere. Yes. We are here as domestic workers driven off the land. We are here as the mothers of the disappeared searching for their children worldwide. We are here, some of us are sex workers. Some of us are people with disabilities. We come from all backgrounds and we are the movement. We thank the young people and the school children who sparked this movement. Extinction Rebellion is spreading it. And we are calling on Extinction Rebellion to take a lead from the Global South and the work that women are doing. Women are at the forefront everywhere. I will just quickly mention some of the places there's not time for all. But for example, in Kenya in the 70s, women and children pulled up the coffee plants and they planted food for their communities and they got the paid workers to join them and they got the pay through their work they confronted low pay and it turned out the women and children were working for corporations for no money at all yes. in india the women hugged the trees in the 70s and they saved thousands of acres and they spread the movement through rural networks, walking and, and calling out to communities, and they save the trees in that way, and we can learn from that. In Haiti, people are fighting occupation and land grabs. At this yeah. moment, thousands of people are on the streets. They want to bring down a corrupt US-backed government, and that government has stolen money from the people and left them in destitution. And we need to be supporting Haiti because that's a climate justice movement too. Yeah. We're with the people in Palestine who are fighting war and pollution and ethnic cleansing. We're with our sisters in Peru who are fighting horrendous climate pollution and they're confronting their government in all kinds of ways. In Ecuador, the same, in many other countries. So this is our movement. All of us are in it. We can't win without the Global South, and the Global South can't win without us. Yeah, yeah. So let's do it. This is a great gathering. This is a beginning, but we're going to get bigger and stronger. Thank you. I, I follow my sister from Women of Color. We are both from the Global Women's Strike. We have been demanding that women have a living wage for the work that we do all around the world, the world, including where it's most difficult, where it's under attack. And the first point I want to make is that we are all in the movement that uh, Sarah has described, and it's not possible anymore for those of us in Europe to think that the others, the South, are not part of our movement and we are not part of theirs. We are all in the same movement to change the world from the bottom up. Yeah. There is a problem with our movement, one problem, it's the billionaires. Yeah. They are in charge of all the substances that pollute our planet and pollute us with
with exploitation and with digging in the earth for things that should remain in the earth. Yes. They made their billions by exploiting us and by exploiting the planet and polluting it. That money, that wealth that they have accumulated is ours for all of us in the world. Yeah. Yeah. But there is a bottleneck. We are organizing in a lot of places and increasingly in our numbers, in our races, in our nationalities, in our immigration status, in our age, everywhere. We are organizing, but we and we are demanding change, but we have no agent of change that is demanding that these other cough up with our resources. And that's what we have to address now. We have to make it clear that those of us who want change and demand change get the change and get the change that we want. We can't avoid anymore, you know, making our demands, having our demonstrations, working hard as so many young women especially have been working hard to make this demonstration. And then let them off the hook. No way. We have to confront them directly where it is needed in an organized and massive way. Yes. Now, one thing that that young woman, Greta Thunberg, has said is that we need equity. There is no way we can win this without equity. That is, all of us are entitled to what we need, and we must fight with, together with others to get all that we need and to end the way the pollution has infected our relationships. We want them changed. We want an end to discrimination. We want an end to racism. We want an end to national a sovereignty of some over others, I think always of Palestine. Because I'm a Jewish woman, that's my job. And in order to get that kind of situation, we have to look again at the divisions among us so that we break them down and work for equity. I want to speak finally about the equity between women and men. It's needed. <laughs> Everywhere. And it's needed because we women are the carers everywhere in the world, the protectors of the societies, the fighters for justice, leading movements from behind. Often the men are in front good. We like them there sometimes. But our organizing is what makes movements go, what makes them win. And we have been doing this work largely single-handed, the caring work, the protecting work, largely single-handed and without money. How dare they not protect the mothers who make all the people in the world? But now, the Green New Deal for Europe has come up with a formulation to help us to focus our movement. They say there needs to be a caring income for those who help people and the planet. And that is why we are fighting for this change. Those who make the people in the world protect the people in the world, work with men in order to change the world, and by the way, with children, those
kids are the people who need a caring income. This is the work we all want to do, caring for each other, caring for the planet, caring for the animals, caring for life, protecting life, defending life, and demanding an end to war yes. and the pollution that war brings. This is another kind of war, a war for life. Yeah. 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 Yeah.